Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCV News Break for Monday, July 15th. A first of its kind youth training at the SCV Sheriff Station had two dozen teens in attendance Monday for the only summer school course meant to save student lives. The two day, 16 hour course covers everything from the importance of cabinet safety locks to the safest route in an emergency. Organizers of the event say schools statewide mandate certain safety equipment in classrooms, but emergency training for students can help save just as many lives. The program helped teams identify roles and responsibilities when an earthquake happens, as well as how to put out a fire with emergency equipment. We now move on to some election news. When Scott Wilk was elected to the state assembly and vacated a seat on the Santa Clarita Community College District Board, Stephen Zimmer was appointed to fill the spot in January. Zimmer announced that he will run in the November election and hopes to continue serving College of the Canyons, focusing on student success and a strong budget. Zimmer served on the COC Foundation board for 12 years and as a director for Newhall Land and Farming. If elected, Zimmer will complete the last two years of Wilkes' term and be up for regular election again in 2015. On to other election news. Hart District Board member Bob Jensen announced Monday he'll seek re-election and run in November for a second term. The certified public accountant first became involved in local education when he successfully ran for a seat on the Newhall School District's governing board in 2005. He then earned his current seat on the Hart District Board in 2009. Jensen says his expertise within the areas of budgeting and facilities are important to a school district when times are tight. He also says he'd like to see the completion of Castaic High School and a number of modernization projects as a board member. Now coming up after the break, Shakespeare in the Park is getting revamped this summer. Find out what's in store. And a 37-year-old harmonious tradition brings smiles and good times to the SCV Senior Center. That's all next. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling. My relationships were affected by my addiction in ways that are almost hard to describe. I lost, I lost that trust and that, that sense of intimacy that you have with your family. Everyone says that, oh, it's just a plant, like you can't get addicted to it, but like really, it is addictive. If you're doing it all day, like every day, it's just like, that's all your life consists of is smoking weed, like then it's addictive. I think your son is, you'll never know, because it, it is hard to hide, but if you try hard enough, you can conceal it. There's no face to addiction. Like, your next door neighbor could be an addict and you have no idea. The people we deal with are great people. They're just making bad choices. So if we can help people make better choices, everybody wins. And I love you very, very Its main building got a total makeover in 2010, and now the Placerita Canyon Nature Center is up for nearly $1.5 million worth of new museum exhibits and outdoor displays. On Tuesday, the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors will consider approving a budget for the design and installation of new exhibits, interactive displays, and live animal enclosures. One million dollars comes from the state. The balance comes from Supervisor Michael D. Antonovich's 5th District budget. Ice cream, snappy tunes, and good times at the senior SCV Senior Center Sunday. Thirty-seven years ago, a singing group was formed here in Santa Clarita, and every year since, we put on a annual show, a harmony show featuring vocal harmony. The SCV Men of Harmony took the stage and captivated the audience with tunes old and new during an afternoon ice cream social. What we're looking for it's, is something that's not a concert really, but a, a way for people to get together and, and share time together to have a, a community experience because that's really what barbershop used to be. And so part of the motivation of having the ice cream is to, in a sort of a modern way, recreate that community experience. Well, I got vanilla and this chocolate and vanilla kind. It was swirled together with the chocolate syrup and vanilla inside. The chocolate syrup was inside and I just had a regular vanilla. They were both good. I love this type of singing. Where I grew up in the South, this is the type of singing. We didn't have pianos and music so everything was a cappella. 
and I was just at home with this type of activity, and I won't miss another one. It was just marvelous. Now for your weather. Clear skies and 96 degrees for the daytime high in Santa Clarita Monday. Mostly clear skies with a low around 65 and winds topping out around 20 miles per hour expected overnight. Those light winds will continue through at least Wednesday, with temperatures dropping down a couple of degrees as well. Then during the last half of the work week, we heat up again with highs in the upper 90s in the SCV Thursday as well as Friday. A summertime tradition for many in Santa Clarita includes enjoying Shakespeare in the Park at Rivendale. This year, there's so much more happening in Towsley Canyon. Dozens turned out to Rivendale Park Friday for a kickoff dinner and fundraiser to support the revamped L.A. Summerfest. The new series is bringing concerts, musicals, as well as Shakespearean fun to the outdoor stage on weekends through August. Most of the events planned this summer are free and open to the public. That is except for four performances of the American tribal love rock musical called Hair. Log on to scvnews.com for showtimes. That's all we have for you tonight. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Ryan Haslam. SCV News Break is brought to you by Action Family Counseling.